Good morning. It's nice to see you this morning on a bright Sunday. Frost, frosty ish Sunday. It is a frosty ish Sunday, yeah. It's cold. It's certainly cold. But it's lovely. It's warm in here. Nice and warm, yeah. And I think as soon as you see all the kids' faces coming in, nice and smiley, they're feeling the Christmas mood, ready to see the Christmas movie. It makes you feel good already. It makes you feel really good. And the best thing is, is that we're ready to release it now to the world. It's been worked on for such a long time. And uh, we really had the, pr we had the actual pleasure of doing it in front of live audiences, which was so wonderful because after two years of theatres being completely empty to marry the both TV and theatre world together have an audience in there throwing energy back at us was just incredible a really wonderful experience yeah, and obviously you had that day where you saw maybe a few smiley faces in the audience and the reactions yeah. and now you get to see a different type of audience you get to see people seeing it for the first time completely and I'm really hoping that it still translates because of the nature of the piece the children were invited to get involved and shout out at the wish taker and uh, boo and hiss and all sorts so we'll see what happens in the cinema whether or not that translates through I hope it does I'm sure it will yeah that's really interesting I feel like the immersive sort of style is really like popular at the minute and it's really taking off because people feel like more of a connection and like more into like what they're watching absolutely I think that the and also the connection for all of the the little ones and their favorite CBBS characters and their favorite CBBS presenters and actors it's really lovely to have them playing different characters in this and bring such an incredible poem to life. It's really warm and generous. It's a lovely, lovely poem. Lovely yeah. piece. I mean, I can imagine that kids watching CBBS every single week, every day maybe, will see the, you know, their favourite characters on the TV as their second family. Absolutely. And to see them bring, um, to see them all come together for Christmas, it's a really lovely special occasion. And uh, Chris Jarvis, who was our director, really made sure that we were all, uh, uh, we all have different moments so there are different parts that everybody could just shine in and the entire cast shines they're such wonderful people it's been delightful working with them do you have a favorite memory of working on the show one that sticks out for you maybe uh, all we had to learn some choreography and that is always a memory that will stick out uh, whatever it be but we have a wonderful choreographer called Haley who is so patient and so lovely and the dances come across so well and they're in the the best thing that I think the most wonderful thing that Haley has done is make them really accessible and really easy for little ones to learn. So hopefully they'll be at home dancing away, joining in with us at certain points. We'll see. Hopefully it will be late. Amazing. So just in terms of Christmas in general, when the when you it's the lead up to Christmas, what's the first thing that makes you feel in the Christmas mood? Is it the Coca-Cola advert when you see that? Oh, I can't really mention another brand. Let's say um, uh, <coughs> let's say uh, Christmas jumpers. You've got to be. It's got to be a good Christmas jumper. I wish I was wearing one now. I don't have one. I actually, I'm playing Rudolph and I own a Rudolph Christmas jumper with a little nose. And I should have put that on. Really. I think today will be inspiration for you to get more into the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. We're still in November, aren't we? We are, only just. Yeah. Um, in terms of Christmas songs, do you have an ultimate favourite Christmas song? Yes, I do. It's uh, I Believe in Father Christmas by Greg Lake. Because at the end of that song, the orchestra strikes up and it's a really beautiful, powerful ending and it just makes you feel really Christmassy and really warm. It's being brilliant, absolutely. Almost a tear to the eye sort of stuff. It really is. You get goosebumps. It's great. Yeah. I'm just sat there on my own with a mulled wine crying my eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, lastly, in terms of Christmas gifts, do you remember back to being a child, is there any sort of Christmas gift that stands out as being your favourite or your most memorable? I remember making Tracy I Island on Blue Peter when Anthea Turner was presenting it and I remember making it and then um, becoming obsessed with Thunderbirds and I remember getting a Thunderbird for Christmas and in the end I removed the Thunderbird and just played with the box and I thought the box was the best thing about it. I love that as a child yeah just play with the box. Play with the boxes. <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us this morning hope the show goes well I look forward to seeing all the happy faces and uh, reactions really in general. To Me too I really hope they enjoy it it's such a lovely piece and um, I really hope it can just bring some laughter to everyone in what has been such a bleak time so thank you very much well thank you for doing it and have a great christmas thank you, thank you.